Dear colleagues, um, thanks a lot for visiting my poster, my virtual poster. My name is Niels Moosdorf and I would like to um, talk about submarine groundwater discharge as a challenge for Earth observation. And I would like to ask you and challenge you if you can spot water flowing into water. My personal background is not Earth observation, but it's um, hydrogeology and submarine groundwater discharge and I would like to um, team up with people from the Earth observation area to see if we jointly can solve a problem. Um, and I'd like to give you a little bit of background on the um, on submarine groundwater discharge. And that is here the figure one which shows you what submarine groundwater discharge actually is. It's fresh groundwater discharging into the ocean. Often enough it discharges right at the coast, um, but sometimes it also goes further offshore. Um, and this is obviously a pathway for fresh water out of the terrestrial system into the marine system. That makes it quite interesting both as a water resource and a um, source of pollution. We've done a global modeling study and this global modeling study um, estimates that at the global scale the fresh groundwater discharge is only about 1% of river discharge, which is not that much. But it's usually enriched in nutrients and in many areas and in many parts of the coastline it's more than, uh, than the river discharge, or at least a substantial part of the total coastal water budget. In the areas here that you see are colored in some in some colors like green or purple or red or orange, these are colors where the global model expects um, that groundwater contributes a substantial, uh, a substantial part of the risk of eutrophication at the coast. So those first two pictures should show that submarine groundwater discharge is relevant. Now how does it look like at the local scale? It can look like this. This is a submarine spring, um, so basically a spring in the ocean in uh, Croatia. And you can see nicely that you have this form, the plate-like form, on the top of the ocean. Um, the spring is actually in some tens of meters of depth. Below you can see another spring. Um, this is in a shallow coral reef. So these springs are extreme, they're not uncommon, but we do not know how many of those springs are there. We do not know if we even know the biggest spring that's to find, because many areas of the world are not, have not been scouted for those submarine springs. And this is, to me, an intriguing challenge, since we have the global modeling in place, but obviously we are lacking the data to, um, vali to, um, to evaluate our predictions. And this is something I'm looking for global scale observations of, or at least for remote observations and scouting and explorative approaches towards submarine springs. And those submarine springs, as you see here, they can be detected via remote sensing. So they can cause surface water temperature anomalies. You see at the top of this picture, for instance, of this image, there's um, a beautiful plume of colder, here green, water that flows into the ocean of Hawaii. And here you also quite clearly see that. This is not a stream. This is groundwater that flows in there. Okay, so groundwater can change surface temperature. It can change, it can, it can transport um, sediments and by that um, change the water color. It also changes the, um, the behavior of the sea surface if it's strong enough. So there's lots of things that we might be able to detect and so this is my challenge, or this is my, my, my request. If any one of you is interested in detecting this phenomenon, I, have, I know quite some places to calibrate methods, but I don't know the methods. So if you're interested, please call me, um, or please email me, or please Twitter me, or whatever. Um, let's talk about it, because I think there's lots of research that could be done, and here we could really advance um, the research on 
a hidden part of the water budget that's not really accounted for yet. So with that, thanks a lot for your attention and I hope it was a little bit interesting to you.